Miss you, Mimi. Miss you, Mimi, me. A pass, where pass? For legal reasons, several clips featured in this video had to be removed or replaced with stills. Many of the images used are fan made artwork and are not meant to be taken as official. We apologize for the inconvenience. As we've discussed many times in the past, times in the past, children's TV, surprisingly enough, the most disturbed rules, however, one show per entry, though each entry could have different moments from their show. As we've discussed many times in the past, children's TV usually has a good no foreign shit. Sorry, Mr. Nosy Bunk. And finally, no anime. Sorry, Mr. Nosy Bunk. Anime. With that being said, let's begin. With that being said, let's begin. You know what? That's why I am not managing. Thank God. Despite being a show about ghosts, Danny comes from Danny himself. Well, sort of. Surprisingly enough, the most disturbing moment in the entire series comes from Danny himself. In the second TV movie, The Ultimate Enemy, shit gets real. Ten years into the future, The Ultimate Enemy, shit gets real. Ten years in ruins. The most dangerous ghost of all time is making the lives of the survivors of living hell. And that ghost is the adult Danny Phantom. The episode has a lot of time travel ghost forms work. Eventually, present day Danny takes it upon himself to defeat his future self. And learn how exactly he became like that in the first place. That kills his entire family, as well as Sam Tucker and Mr. Lancer. Danny was then forced to move in with the only person who has a chance of understanding him, his family friend and arch nemesis, Vlad Masters. Masters, who is also half ghost of understanding him, his family friend and arch nemesis, Vlad Masters, who is also half ghost. Despite their history, Vlad treated Danny with great sympathy. Unfortunately, it didn't do much good for Danny. Him. His family friend and arch nemesis, Vlad Masters, who is also half ghost. Despite their history, Vlad treated Danny with great sympathy. Unfortunately, it didn't do much good for Danny. He asked Vlad to remove his human half. Unfortunately, it didn't do much good for Danny. He asked Vlad to remove his human half. So his form is too much to handle. And it turns Danny to an irredeemable monster. Adam! Oh, hi, Nikki. Why did you want to meet me here? Did you bring Senior Fuzzy? Sure, I keep him with me all the time. Ernie, I have something to tell you. He's nice. I can understand why you used to love him so much. I mean, it may just be an old sock, but... That's enough! Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, just an old sock. <laughs> Showing up being and bruised up Danny, barely holding up against his shadowy future self. And everything about future Danny is just disturbing. From his transformation scene to his complete lack of empathy. The fact that the main characters we've come to know are just outright killed is another shocking detail that you don't usually see in kids shows in general. And this episode was not a what-if plot either. It was very real, and it was close to being the actual reality of the show. After his death, never seen again. The ending set up his return, but thankfully he never escaped from his eternal prison cell. I dare if I do. In addition to Ren and Stimpy, Rocco's Modern Life is one of Nickelodeon's most surreal and zany shows of the 90s. Jokes and visual humor had little to no consequence, leading to some absolutely fantastic. But we're not here to talk about funny stuff. Sometimes that surrealness that works in favor of the show's humor can also go a bit too far. Out of the series Cabin Fever, the big heads go on vacation to a mountain cabin. However, when they get there, in favor of the show's humor can also go a bit too far. In the 10th episode of the series Cabin Fever, the big heads go about funny stuff. Sometimes that surrealness that works in favor of the show's humor can also go a bit too far. In the 10th episode of the series Cabin Fever, when they get there, they find that Rocco and Heifer rented the exact same cabin. Heifer rented the exact same cabin. What's eating you? Ever since you've joined that band, you've changed. You're never around anymore. It's either them or me. Morphing into demons. A strange acid trip occurs with Big Head turned into a flower and then screaming his eyes out, literally. While this moment is short, 